Hello y'all and welcome back survivors. We are late in the game with a new title today. An exciting and realistic open world survival craft game set among the vast dunes of a remote but dangerous planet. Now we must think fast to survive the harsh landscape and sharpen our minds for the mystery of the sand and the ancient threat she holds will become all too real for those who game. Come and explore Star Sand. I gotta say, my jaw dropped when I saw this game on Steam, and I just had to make a video for you guys. If you like Stranded Deep's gameplay, then I think we are all gonna love Star Sand. Now this is just a demo. We can play for two days and kind of get a feel for the game. A lot of the mechanics aren't in there yet, but we can still kind of get an idea of what we have coming for us. This was created by Tunnel Vision Studios. It's a Danish company, started by five guys in 2013. So let's see what they created for us here. Look at that, that's beautiful. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh man, I can't wait for that. Oh man, okay guys, let's go and play the demo right now. You can pick it up on Steam and play for free. All right, and here we are in the main startup menu of Star Sand. As you can see, pretty cool little visuals as it is. You got a little sand wafting off of the title. It's pretty cool. And look at the visuals. I mean, really, really nice visuals. Loving the uh, the water caustics. You know, what the, the water visuals should say it all. When the water looks good, you know everything else is going to be really polished. But let's go in and check out this beauty from Tunnel Vision Studios. It is pretty cut and dry on the controls here. If you played PC, you should have no problem getting a hand on these controls. So let's just run into it. So now, while running the desert marathon on the fourth day, you get caught in a sudden sandstorm right in between two checkpoints. Following the track becomes impossible. You soon get lost, wandering in the open desert for hours, blinded by the wind, breathing with difficulty. Then, from the never-ending wall of sand in front of you, the shape of a small building emerges. The sun is already set as you open the door, exhausted, and pass out. I would like to say, though, if we're on an alien planet... Why are we running a marathon? <laughs> and there we are. Then we wake up, and as you can see, everything was destroyed, and we were not covered in sand but hey that's okay you know just just the little things what are you gonna do so we do have a little tutorial here and I'm gonna go through as fast as possible so we make sure that we uh, we get as much in as we can so we're just gonna grab that water bottle throw it in and we're gonna head on over to this oasis now there's quite a bit we can craft in the game as it is but it all centers around these oases Oases, right? That's the plural. I'm pretty sure it's oases. <laughs> so I'm sure there's going to be more than one of these oasises. <laughs> it's oases. It's got to be, right? So I'm sure there's going to be more than one of these. And this is a, pretty much our center hub for survival. Now there are a few buildings off in the distance. There's one here. And there's one right over the dunes right over here. And there's going to be some like challenges as we uh, hit those buildings. Of course, right now, there are not um, any animals in the water, like the crocodile and such, that we saw in that little uh, developer video. Because, you know, that they're still working on it, of course. This is a demo, so not everything is going to be in the game. But, oh yeah, left click to drink. Boom. Excellent. But, there's still a lot to do. So, okay, we got to find water. I'm in the water. I think I'm going a little too quick for the game right now. <laughs> so I have played this demo uh, once, but I had, did not get over to that building. So we can watch me scream like a little girl 
when we get over there and one of those things attacks us. But we do have one of those like big scorpion centipede looking things, man. They're nefarious. So we do have uh, a lot of different uh, materials around here as well as these little food sources like that frog you see. And there's also little scorpions here. Oh, come on, let me refill. Excellent, refill with R. And now we're just gonna wanna run around grab some of these items so we can craft with C one of these stone tools a raw knife here which takes two stone and it's pretty cool they let you know how many you have or how many you have and how many you're gonna need so we can craft that it takes a few seconds and then we'll have it there and we can chop up some of these frogs and resources to get ourselves some better tools here now there are quite there is quite a bit uh oh that's a scorpion yep Yep, yep, yep. I think we just got poison too. Well, hey, there's a there's a uh, something exciting for you right off the bat, my lord. All right, so there is a lot that we can make. Of course, there's a few things that we can't, uh, you know, as of now because they're still working on them. But we can make cloth, cordage, wood planks, a marker so we know exactly where we are, campfire, a loom, a storage box so we don't lose our items when we save. Uh oh, what it? What is he? Oh no! I dropped my water bottle. <laughs> Oh no! So this is one little problem that that I've been having, unfortunately, in game is that once, oh no, once you do drop something in the water, you can't pick it up again because it just interacts with the water. So, oh no, oh got it, got it, got it, got it. Yes! Oh, that is lucky right there. I did not expect for me to be able to do that. Oh, that is one thing that I hope they do figure out here. Pineapple, excellent. Love me some pineapple. Uh, that once you do drop something in the water, it's dang near impossible to be able to get it again. So let's run through the rest of this. So we have raw knife, uh, raw knife, a raw axe, torch, a pickaxe, a hammer, a bow, a crude spear, an arrow, and a twined hat. And as you can see, they do have some some uh, great little menus, so so we don't have to go through that all section all the time. Uh, but we are gonna have a turban some sandals and, and trousers as well. Am I getting hit again? No, nope. it's just that poisoning We're gonna have to make some anti-venom Which we actually need that scorpion back for Right, I forgot about that too. So so we do have ah, come on inventory. Oh It's, a, it's in there already. There we go. But yeah, we do have uh, Not only the cold to deal with but the heat as well the heat really starts to mess us up but we can make a melon bomb which acts as a sunscreen for us as you can see it's a 43 degrees celsius i'm not quite sure how hot that is in fahrenheit because i'm a loser american i can't make the conversion but i'm pretty sure that's like it gotta be at least over 115 degrees i know that you like triple it and then you you take some off or something like that <laughs> from the metric to uh to imperial conversion there well, let's just go. I'm not gonna worry about the, uh, I'm not gonna worry about the temperature too much right now. What I do need though is that antidote because our health is just dropping like crazy. So we might need to find one of those lovely scorpions. Let's see. I'm just gonna let that tree fall on my head there. And resources. There we go. So we need an antidote. We need a melon and a venom sack. So let's find. Ah. Almost got glitched into that guy. So let's find that scorpion that messed us up and show him who's boss. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Just going to sit there and take it? Yeah, there you go. So you got to open him up, and you can take the venom sack and put it into your inventory. I'm going to go ahead and put that down there, put that down there. So we don't have too much inventory space as it is, but I'm pretty sure I saw... Where is it, tool? I'm sure that there's going to be a backpack or something like that yes there it is there it is the backpack so we are able to make that but again there's not too much time in the demo so you so you do want to conserve your oh ah, conserve your time and make sure you're getting the most out of it but you can play the demo as much as you want okay so we're about at half health let's go ahead and craft resources craft that antidote so we don't die and not even get to, to play the tutorial. That, that, that wouldn't be very fun, now would it? Inventory with I. Come on. Inventory. Inventory! Okay, it's not letting me go into my inventory right now. 
Ah, found my tool. Inventory, there we go. So we have the antidote now. I'm gonna go ahead and place that into the lower uh, section of our map. Press three, they're all in hotkeys, so one, two, three. And now we can consume that, and as you can see on our heart over there, it's no longer green, letting us know that we're not poisoned anymore. But we are gonna be getting hungry. So let's go ahead and kill this frog. He's gonna give us some meat. And there's quite a bit of animals in the game as well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and eat this pineapple. And I think we should probably make a melon bomb. That way I don't have to worry too much about this, uh, this sun. Because if we do wanna take the effect of the sun away, I haven't really found a good shade spot, but you can go into the water and uh, get under the water. And as you can see, it's dropping right now. We're only at 42. Ah, can't get 100% under there. But it is dropping in any case. We're already at 40, so it does drop pretty quick, which is nice. But we are already running out of time in the demo. So, let's get to it. I know that there's... Uh-oh, there's mosquitoes. The mosquitoes do start to bother you. I'm not quite sure what they do to you. Uh, maybe they're just a, a minor annoyance. Otherwise, maybe they'll they'll get us sick, you know, because um, mosquitoes, they, they, they transfer some of them diseases, you know. So we want to watch out for that. Ooh, is that a melon? Oh, a coconut. Sweet. And we're going to cut this trunk up. We're going to be able to get some palm fronds out of it and some wood logs. We're going to have to craft ourselves a fire and a shelter really quick which is quintessential to survival, am I right? And we can also chop up the logs for sticks. Now, when we get to our fire, we can use sticks or logs. It looks like the uh, the logs burn the same rate as the sticks. So you're probably gonna want to make sure you chop the logs up into sticks. Because otherwise your resources go pretty quick there. I think those uh, mosquitoes are just going to be an annoyance to us, so we're, we're not going to worry about them right now. But maybe when the game gets a little bit more developed, uh, those might cause something other than just that buzzing you hear right now. We can make a torch, but you have to have the torch out, so you can't really, uh, can't really place it or nothing like that. But I do want to get these basics up. And then we can go and check out one of these buildings on day two. Because uh, we, we don't have much time. There's going to be a sandstorm that hits us on day two. To kind of give us an idea that the uh, not only are the animals going to be causing us to fight for our life. But also the environment is really going to cause us to, to uh, fight for our lives there. And our temperature is dropping quite a bit. So I'm guessing that they might have added that in. Or I just didn't see it. Oh, oh, the sun is going down. That'll do it. <laughs> so yeah, these mosquitoes, they, they, they're just an annoyance right now. But we do have an Ibex, it looks like, right there. Uh, he ran away from me, of course, before I looked at him, because I'm focused on this frog. Come here. Oh. There. Yeah, come here. Ah, oh, finally, man. Talk about some horrible hand-eye coordination, right? Wow. All right. Let's get going. Ooh, a camel right there. That's very cool. Uh-oh. Is that is that it already? No, 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 no. I think the sandstorm might be coming in already. Let's go ahead and craft a marker. We got to get going here. So this marker, uh, we need some cordage, which means that we need some some of these stems that we get from the palm frond. Now we have a few already, so I'm going to go ahead and make two of these cordage. Chop up this palm. We got to get that campfire going because otherwise the cold is going to start setting in. And you can get hypothermia here. Hypo and hyper, so both of the temperature extremes are going to be messing us up in-game. 
All right, we are gonna definitely need some more of this cordage. Some of these you cannot mess with, as you can see. You know, some of these uh, uh, plants and stuff, we, we can't chop down or anything. That, I'm sure, might change. But what we're looking for is a fern. We need to find a fern so we can get a little bit more cordage here. And, of course, we do have clay deposits, which we're going to be able to mine uh, and I'm sure make some, uh, some brick out of so we can make our own building in the desert. Just like you saw in the beginning little episode there. Or not episode, the developer play. Alright, we got some more stems here and sticks. I'm going to go ahead and make our little camp right here. And we're going to go ahead and place that... Oop, there we go. This marker. And we're also going to get a campfire going. So all of these take time. It's not just a cut and dry. You know, see this takes 15 seconds to make. So you, it's not immediate, which I do like. That is kind of nice. So this marker here, we could of course rotate with the arrow keys, you know, and let us know like which way is which. I'm gonna go ahead and just place it towards the oasis. There we go. And we can go on into our map here. And we have all of these little icons. We have a, I'm guessing that's like a, a structure and then uh, maybe a monolith icon. And then we have the oasis icon. So with our arrow there pointing, we can tell that, boom, there is our oasis. So once we, and look at all the space we have. So this, this game's gotta be really expansive. But this was our starter shed there. This is the marker that we just placed, heading on into the oasis. So that way we have a good frame of reference. Okay, and these are ruins and a pyramid. All right, well that makes sense now, doesn't it? What we need, though, is we really need this campfire going. My lord. Inventory. Okay, we gotta go in crafting and then inventory. Campfire, where are you? Oh, no, that's right. Um, if you don't have the inventory space, it will not craft it for you. It does give you your resources back if you don't have the space, but you gotta make sure you have an open slot to be able to make anything. So, we're just gonna wait a few seconds and get this going. We're already at 11 degrees Celsius. That What is that? What is that, my friends overseas, or someone that can do the math for me? Boom. So as you can see, it's just kind of an embered fire. We need to open it up, and we need to place some of these wood sticks inside, and it immediately starts going. And we can also place food right in this slot, and it'll let us know when it's cooked with this little icon here, letting us know how much more time it has. And as these woods uh, are burned down, we're going to get coal from it, which I'm sure is going to be useful for something later on. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is make ourselves some better weapons here. So I'm thinking uh, it does take a lot of resources as it is. You know, we don't really have that much as far as resources go to make these weapons, but we are going to make a few here. We do need to drop these sticks. We can just throw them right out of our inventory. Grab our lovely little... What is that? A crude knife. And we can chop these up into sticks. Or our fire here. We want to make sure we have fire all night long. And we need to get a shelter up as well. But on your first night on a, you know, deserted planet, I'm sure most of us wouldn't do that much sleeping. We don't know what kind of animals are out here. Or what the night has in store so I think most of us would be up all night long there we are we have some coal right in there which is really cool and our food is almost cooked there let's go back into crafting and see if we can make ourselves whoop, 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 whoop. where are you okay I'm going into all <laughs> oh that's right I'm I'm dumb that's right that's right okay so the shelter is not available in the demo that and that's quite all right we can make a storage box. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah, let's go ahead and make ourselves a torch. That way we can keep the mosquitoes out of our way. And how about a crude spear? Now notice the resources here. We have two sticks that we need and one cordage for the bow. And then on the arrows, we need one stick, one stone, and a cordage. And the crude spear, 
needs one log of stone and cordage. And you can't poke with this, it's only ranged. So in my eyes, actually, I think we need, we need to make the bow because this is gonna take less resources. But I think we're out of cordage too. So we need to go in and make some of that lovely, lovely rope, which we can make two right now. Take out our torch and let's roll out see if we can find another one of these palm saplings or not palm saplings yucca plants that we can chop down and get some more there's an ibex get some more cordage here definitely gonna need it Ooh, a date palm i wonder if there is actually gonna be dates in there that we can eat which i'm sure there is you know if, it, if not now there will be Oh, I need one more yucca. Yes! Choppy choppy. So yeah, I really do hope that they uh, they allow us to chop everything at one point. Oh no, I I broke my, my uh, little raw knife there, so we're gonna have to make another. And I don't have any more stone, so we gotta find more stone. It is on the beach around here. I'm worried that sandstorm's gonna come in. Once the sandstorm does come in, it blows all of these resources away. So we probably should have just ran around grabbing every resource we could first. But with limited time, you start to make mistakes. Am I right? Am I right? I know I'm right. Okay, where are you? Where are you, Yucca? Yeah, I hope that they allow us to uh, clear out some of this stuff later on. So we don't have the issue of not finding the resources once we chop it down. This one's a little bit more up, out in the open here. So I'm sure we'll be able to find these. <laughs> but as far as the other one that uh, I already lost, I don't think we'll be able to find the resources that, that pop out of that one. Where are you? Right here. This one. We almost got through it. So see, we, we can't really see them, you're just going to have to find them and just keep smashing that E button to hopefully pick up everything we need, because we want those stems there, we need a lot of cordage. And rock, we're going to have to find that rock, so let's run, run and find some more rock here. Now there was a, uh, I'm pretty sure, a rock deposit that we can mine out, but of course we need a tool for that, which takes even more resources. <laughs> Let's see, we have the pickaxe here. Yeah, we need two stone, a stick, and some cordage. Uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves a little bit more cordage. I'm gonna craft two more. And then we can make ourselves a bow. And we need, oh, we need some more logs. Okay, so we are already on day two here, which means the there's a small sandstorm about to come in and just mess up our progress. So we want to try to find those other uh, rocks in here so we can make a few more arrows. What's going on? Oh my lord. We're dying of thirst here. And we ain't got that much food, so yeah. Get this frog really quick. Take that. Run over here. Get away from me, scorpion. And we can make ourselves... Oh no, our inventory is full. So let's go ahead and allocate some space for us. And you, the, the, the fire keeps going if you don't... Uh, if you don't take it out. The sticks out of the fire there. It'll just keep going and burning. So if you're not using it... You should take that out. Okay, we're gonna eat some food. Ooh, that, that gives us a lot of health, very nice. And let's grab some of these logs. So we can make ourselves some arrows here. Now what do we have? We have one stone, oh no. Only one. Gotta find some more stone in here. And there's of course that center island right there, which I'm sure is gonna have some, some resources in it as well. But I wonder, I wonder if we're even going to have the time to go and... Sh oh, no! Not yet! No, 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 don't leave, Stone, don't leave me! No, 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 no! Oh, 
Ah, got it. Excellent. So the sandstorm doesn't hurt you as of now. I'm sure it just obstructs your visibility. Yeah, it's going to be very hard to see what we have here. And I don't think we're going to be able to find any more. Ooh, a melon. Uh, inventory is full again. Oh, there's some sticks. There's some stones. What do we need to get rid of here? Ooh, we have five arrows. That's excellent. I think we'll just get one more here. Uh, sorry, Melon. Hey, you know what? We're going to make one of these as well. Now I can take up my melon, cut it open. No, oh, there it goes. You see? It took it away. That sandstorm just pushes all of your materials away. Oh, another stone. And then once this sandstorm subsides, we're going to have some uh, even more hostile creatures coming for us. Some hyenas. And uh, I believe that's it right now. We are, all right. So very, very noisy storm. And then there's gonna be some hyenas around here now that just wanna mess us up. Let's go ahead and get our bow out for some defense. And pretty cool little uh, ranged weapon here. I love a bow myself. Uh, there is the hyena. Oh, run away. Gotta get up onto an elevated position here. Where is he at? Where is he at? There he is. Nice. Four arrows. Now, would we get those back? Yes. Excellent. It's always a bummer when you don't get your resources back. Ooh, we get some hide from that. But unfortunately, it looks like we do lose a few arrows because we can't, we can't like turn this guy really to get the arrows that we had on the other side. So we're only gonna get two of those arrows back. We just, we can't spend too much time messing with this guy right now. How about a twined hat? Yeah, we should get that. That's really gonna help us with the, the, uh, the sun. <laughs> yeah, that thing, the sun. Yep, I think that's good for weapons. Can we make any more? Yes, we can. We're gonna make one more of those. Did we get our twined hat? Oh no, we didn't, did we? Because our inventory is full. Ah, oh, what a bummer. Did I just mess up? Now we can't make the hat. Nope, now we can't make the hat. I don't think I have enough cordage. Probably should have made that backpack. That would have been nice. Oh, we need four cordage. There's no way we're making that hat. All right, let's get a move on here. Where is that building? There was also a pyramid that I saw in the demo, but uh, it is quite far away. So we're not going to be able to make our way over there because the demo is about to end for us. Oh, I got to find my direction. Get my bearing here. All right, we're going to have to go just pick a direction. Actually, I think it was this way. Oh, another hyena. Oh, no. You're not supposed to be able to come up on the rocks like that. <laughs> oh, no. Stay away. Nice. Again, though, I think we're going to lose at least one arrow here. Yep. Because we can't flop him around there. That's, a, that's unfortunate. But we will take that, and I will take that. Oh, another hyena. Where is my campfire? There it is. All the way off into the distance. That's where these trail markers are really going to come in handy because 
Everything looks the same. All this sand just looks identical to each other. We can go over here, though, grab ourselves some food, refill our water bottle, and get out of here. Oh, no, we can't grab ourselves some food because I completely forgot to put more on the campfire. We'll just put that in there, get it out of our inventory. I don't need you. The torch. Okay. We're good. We're ready to roll. Now, we came from a direction. <laughs> so we're going to have to get the high ground and see exactly where we need to go. So there's our starting point, which means that's the building we want to head to. Excellent. So we'll make our way and see if we can get over there to see what that building has in store for us before the demo ends. Oh, I hope we have the time here. Refill our water bottle. Get out our bow. And run on over. Stay away, mosquitoes. I have a torch. I'm not afraid to use it. Alright, now this does take a bit of time, and I'm not going to bore you guys with that, so we're going to clip. And I wonder if there's going to be one of those nasty centipede things in here. Oh, I wonder what animals it's going to have in store for us here. Now, we saw those, those creepy centipede creatures, and it seems like they're around in the ruins. So I hope we have the gusto to take one of them on. Oh, well, look at this. This is really cool. Loving the artwork. Oh, we got a backbone of some creature. Maybe one of those scorpions. This looks awful nefarious. Gotta say. Oh, wow. We got some Sanskrit or... No, these are hieroglyphics right here. Very cool. So we know that this uh, race... Uh-oh. I can hear him. Uh-oh. Oh, so creepy. But we know that this race was human at one point. Maybe this is kind of like a Stargate thing. Y'all ever seen Stargate before? You know, they come and enslave mankind to do their bidding. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, that scared the hell out of me! Oh man, oh no! Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god, that's so creepy! Oh yeah! Oh my god, there's another one! Oh no, oh no! We're out of ammo! We're out of ammo! Oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming! Oh no! Oh no, he's gonna kill us! He's gonna kill us! <laughs> oh my god! No, we're dead! We're dead, guys! Oh my lord! No, stay away! Stay away! I'm just gonna, I'm gonna box you, bro. Yep, yep. Stay <laughs> I can't jump! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, my God. Well, there you go, guys. You know, the demo was just about to end and in any case, but we got over there and we were able to see that very, very creepy centipede-like creature. Oh, man. But there you are, Star Sand. This game I am super excited about, y'all, and I'm sure you're going to be as well. Oh, definitely go and check that demo out for yourself and see if you can kill both of those centipedes instead of just the one like I did. You're going to need a few more arrows, I'm telling you. We weren't even able to get our, uh, <laughs> our, our spear out to be able to, uh, to hopefully inflict some damage on him, but... I just kind of ran. <laughs> oh, man.
But let me know down in the comments below what you think about Star Sand. I'm gonna be uh, checking this out on my own uh, in the next, you know, upcoming days and months and years, whenever they end up coming out with this bad boy. If you guys want to see more of it, we're definitely gonna start playing this one. But hope you all enjoyed that. Let me know with a like below or a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you do want to see more of this beautiful game and you don't want to miss out on anything. But just remember, we were late in the game, but better late than never. You have a great play.